My mount was un not able to find me. Dag nabbit. A mythical creature. They must mean the unicorn. <gasps> oh! A fire horse! My baby. Got you now, freak. I'm in trouble here. Maniac. How am I withstanding the flames? I got you now. Oh, yes, of course. Holy Leather God, pants. No, 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 no. You didn't do this to me. I did this to you. No! I, get myself into this? I need a crucifix. On, Dracula is gonna come up out of the ground and try to slay me. The four horses of the Apox. I have broken a horse of the apocalypse. War. Sorry, other horse. I need to go to McFarland's ranch. Bonnie! War can set enemies on fire. Perfect. Don't worry, Bonnie, I'm coming to save you. Bonnie, my love. Again, my love, not John Marston's. Johnny loves Abigail. Something's up ahead. That should calm you down a little. Take this! And that! How come he didn't set them on fire, horse? You were supposed to do it. Do I have to do it myself? How come you are afraid of fire? Whatever. All right, let's go. Just in case I need you for experimentation. Comfortable? Do you dare? Come on. Want to try hurting me? Which survivor do I need to talk to? Okay, the blue. Bonnie! Let me save you! That's not Bonnie! Bonnie, where are you? Please, Bonnie! Don't leave me! Hey! Stop it! I said stop! Oops! No! Did my horse just run away? What are you talking about? Girly? Consider yourself cured! Cured of dying! A few more. Now there's none. Oh, there's my horse. Horsey. The horsey of war. That's right, that's a good horse. Keep following me. Say your prayers. Don't run away. Where are you going? Bonnie, I I'm here. First hell walks the earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? <gasps> oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. But it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both. Both, I fear. See, I knew it. How's your father? Daddy! John's here! Idiot bounty hunter! She called me an idiot. What was he doing in the barn? Rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around uh -oh. with him. Daddy, stop teasing me! No! So come on Bonnie, now. You're puppy. How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. All right, Drew. Don't don't be messing around here. Jump over gaps with a running start. I'm a regular acrobat. Let me tell you. But I gotta get up there. I said get up. Oh, I can't get up. Not here. I forgot. This is the same thing I had to do with uh, rescuing people from that barn. The horses. It was the horses that I saved. Not people. Because that would just be ridiculous. Now I'm looking for people. 
Um, I know you're probably undead, but I'm just gonna call out your name anyway. Drew, my boy? You in here, fella? Drew, are you in here? I'm here to save you, take you back to your daughter. No, please. No, 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 don't shoot him, you can tie him up. I don't want to put him down. I want to tie him up. I've got to put you out of your misery. Just like I'm doing to save my wife and kids. All right, they won't give me the option. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I have a hundred too. I'm gonna use this. Actually, I saved that for later. Cleansing power of fire. It is. Sorry, Mr. McFarland. You were a good man. You were a good man, sir. I'm sorry I had to burn you, but it was cleansing fire. Holy fire. You won't be needing that. Tommy, I'm so sorry. Hope you find rest now, miss. That about sums up my luck recently. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. Stay with you, Bonnie. We'll start a new life. One free of zombies. Will you be my goyle? My horse ran away. So at some point, I'm gonna have to go find Nigel. Nigel Thornberry. Because he can talk to animals. Oh wait, that's his daughter. War! What is... He still has... <laughs> Abigail, I'm failed. He still has the zombie on his back. Good boy. Cooch Chapel! Mind if I join you up here? What's going on? Don't you think I'd rather be laying feet? What did you say? All I did was tip my hat down. You did a right good job protecting your fellow man, woman. Can't let any more of the li living die. Did he try to shoot me? Zombie try to shoot me? Might as well take it before the undead do. They're not supposed to be that intelligent. Somebody must have trained them. Get back over here, horse. And you stay there, zombie. Let's go! You guys like my steed? It's fiery. Are you jealous? Yes. I can see it in your eyes. Hey, where'd you come from? Oh, over there. Now you all stay dead, okay? Did you like that? Bet you did. You freak. Oh! Get away from me! I'm warning you! Let's go. Let's run this one over. I can't tell if I did or not. Sounds like it caught on fire, though. What's up? I'm alone. I ain't feeling so good. You're a long past doctor's visit, my friend. Can I... Put him on fire? He touched the horse! They said my horse was able to turn my enemies into ash. I didn't even I still have this zombie. <laughs> I forgot! Yeah, because I don't know what happened to the guy who was doing experiments on the zombies. I didn't pass him the second time I went around after I died and had to restart. 
Alright, looks like I have to cleanse this graveyard. Cooch Chapel! You stay here. Both of you. Whoops. Let me jump! Burn it. Burn them all. Like the rotten pieces of wood they are. Yikes! Cool. You too! Whoops! Missed! Get off me, you animal! Can't eat my soul, friend! Give me the beef, boys. The ah! Free my soul. I wanna get lost in the rock and roll and drift away. Oh no, they're headless again. And John Marston died that day. Uh oh, it's the mother of Al Alma Horlick? Died alone? She must not be very happy. What did she say? Maybe I deserve your. Oh gosh. Get off his right. Sorry, Horlick. Somebody behind me. Shoo. Cooch Chapel cleansed. See, the zombie finally disappeared off your back. See, I can even make a war horse jump. Hey, fellas. Oh, it's probably Marshall Johnson. <laughs> Look at how many bullets I'm putting in. These jerks. Did I accidentally kill somebody? No, they just killed the horse. They won't kill my horse. Okay, there we go. You were supposed to be there so to so that you could cushion my fall and I could land on you. War horse. But you failed me again. Sheriff. <laughs> Sorry boys. She didn't give me a whole lot of choice. Might have known you'd survive. Of course, What's it's me. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? Yes. Well, no. Well, then how would I know? Who's that My random lady in the window? The folk who live here. Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. Oh, that's good. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Well, that's bad. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's, that's what good. I'm hoping too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. That's bad. Town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Dead? Maybe. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Went to the general store. Probably got eaten. Hey, mister. Hey, Park. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys. Jonah and Eli. I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Why? It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual <laughs> elite and their ideas. Well, I for one won't I don't know if there's one it. person that fits that category. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British, Catholic, <laughs> homosexual? Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. I must say, oh. it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. I'm being sarcastic. You take care of yourself. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> If I ever play this again, I am not helping that guy. But he got his just desserts, and so did the zombies. I had to kill you too, Herbert. Herbie. Chacha in the butt. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me and need some help. 
Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? They were great, right? Which freak wants it next? I think you were dumber when you were alive. Why were they eating each other? They're both zombies. I'm so sorry, Marshall. I'm so, so sorry. Nobody's coming back. Hello, John. Hello, Marshall. I found him. I understand. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshall. Holy Toledo! Everyone's becoming zombified left and right. Will Johnny B. Mostyn ever be able to solve this monstrous predicament? Will Nigel West Dickens become the world's next president? Find out on the next Grave Robin episode of Red Dead Redemption Gaiden with Betty Boy Green! Alright, it's over. Leave me alone. Bye-bye.